What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm telling you the three reasons why I'm returning this Apple Watch SE. Alright guys, so I did get myself an Apple Watch SE. Uh, the reason that I got myself one was because I broke my Android phone. My Android phone said that it was IP68. I review a bunch of gear. I review watches that are IP68. I wear, I, I review earbuds that are IP68. Review a bunch of stuff. That means it is basically waterproof for like 30 or 45 minutes under like three meters of water. So my phone should have been able to withstand me bringing it into the pool in Las Vegas. But... It didn't, it died. So what happened when I came back, my girlfriend, Anna, she gave me her old iPhone 8. So I was like, this gives me a chance to try to get me an Apple Watch SE. I did buy my girlfriend an Apple Watch 6 last year, and I was like, you know what? It looks so good in her watch. The GPS data is super accurate. Everything's working well for her. She loves it. I wanna see for myself what this watch will do. And Apple Watches, if you guys don't know, I'm sure you guys don't live under a rock, Apple Watches are the smart watches of all smart watches. This is basically what people compare smart watches to when they talk about smart watches. Because this is pretty much like a James Bond watch on your wrist. You can talk to it, you can answer phone calls on it, it has music on it, it has weather, data, it has Siri on it. It has everything that you could want in a smartwatch. So that's why I wanted to see for myself what the smartwatch is about. So I did use it and I enjoyed it. Smartwatch is great. You know, the Apple Pay feature is super easy on this watch. You just double tap right here and then your you know your credit card pops out hopefully you guys can't steal that but it will pop out on there super easy to pay for everything if you need to look up something you can ask Siri questions all that jazz really good watch you guys can check out reviews on it anywhere else on YouTube but I want to tell you the three reasons why I'm returning this watch so I have been using this watch for about a month and a half and it's been fun I've been using it you know it's, it's been a great watch but these three things have really annoyed me about the watch so number one is going to be the battery life so I really use the watch on my wrist to track my runs so I use a lot of GPS watches over here you guys can see I reviewed a ton of them and those usually last you know some of them the shorter end will last you about seven days Days until you have to put it back on the battery charger but for this Apple watch you have to charge it every day it may be able to last you know a day and a half but after that you have to charge it so basically if you want to use this watch every day you have to charge it every night so that takes away the sleep tracking really and you will have to bring that cord with you everywhere you go because if you're on vacation you will need to charge this every day so that's one of the big reasons that i did not like this apple watch 6. and while that's not a big deal breaker i don't mind charging every day the next two are the real reasons why i decided to return the apple watch se so the se version if you guys can see right there it's not always on in order for you to turn on the display you'll have to raise to wake so there's this raise to wake function right here and you know it works pretty good i have to say it does work really good but out on the run when i'm trying to quickly glance at my stats quickly glance at my time quickly glance at anything i'll have to do this little wrist game where i'll raise it but it will turn off or it won't turn on so i'll have to flip it again just to make it try to turn on so that one was really annoying for me i wish that it had an option for it to be always on that's one of the biggest gripes with me is that it's not always on and you don't have the option to have it always on you would need to upgrade to the apple watch 6 or now the apple watch 7. i just don't see why they don't have it you have to charge a watch every day anyway so losing a little battery life with it being a little dimmer i don't think the battery life would suffer too much but maybe it would but that's one of the reasons why i'm returning it all right so the for the third reason like i told you guys i'm a runner you guys can see all the little medals over here i run with this watch and whenever I was running with it, I was not getting really accurate data. Whenever I went on an eight mile run, my Garmin watch would say I ran eight miles, but my Apple watch would only tell me I ran like seven miles, 7.1 miles. So it was way off. And if you look at the GPS data right here, I'll put it on the screen and you'll see that it does have some issues with it cutting corners or not really being too accurate 
of a GPS. And I know there's a lot of ways that you can make it more accurate, such as turning off your phone before using your Apple Watch or not using the Strava app to track your runs, all this stuff, but I want a watch that can just easily do that. I don't wanna have to turn off my phone before I use my GPS and I wanna use Strava as my main app for running. I know that they say that you could use the native app and then pay for another app that will actually import that into Strava, but that's just a big workaround, right? I just wish that it worked perfectly. For my girlfriend, Anna, her Apple Watch 6 works perfectly with Strava. Her GPS data is all accurate. It doesn't really cut corners. So her Apple Watch 6 is something that I'm really jealous of. I think that if a watch has fitness tracking, you shouldn't have to do all these little workarounds in order for it to work correctly. So that's the last main reason why I'm returning the Apple Watch SE. All right guys, so those are my main three reasons for returning the Apple Watch SE. Bad battery life, no option for always on, and the GPS is not that accurate. So that's why I'm returning it. You guys may love it. I know a lot of people do love this watch. I think this is the most popular fitness watch out there, but those are the three reasons why I'm gonna be returning this watch to the store. All right guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video of why I'm returning the Apple Watch SE. For me, it's just gonna be a no-go for me, especially as a runner. If you guys enjoyed this video, please think about subscribing, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.